Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. So today's tarot reading is angel messages, whatever the angels need to tell you right now. So for those of you that are already accustomed to choosing with your intuition and have your own method, this is going to be reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. I will draw on screen so you can see the messages and the tarot that relate to them and kind of the conversation with the spirit guides and angels. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to select your group, and then you can jump ahead with the timestamps in the comments and description. Now, for anyone who'd like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. We'll begin that now by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your angels which group is the reading for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. For reminders, we have pile number one, Pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description, and I will see you in your readings. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number one with the love card as the signifier. Now let's see what else the angels have to say other than they're pouring out their love for you. Now, I'm sure you can probably hear the thunder outside, so please just be patient with it. There's a storm where I'm recording, and, uh, and the rain is pretty significant, but we'll still get your angel messages through clear as day. All right, so angels, for group number one, beyond your love that you are, you are spreading for them, what else? All right, seek within. So a lot of you are being told to look inside yourself. Archangel Chamuel coming out. All right, we'll move these down. We'll put Archangel Chamuel. All right, so Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel is the Archangel of Love. Archangel Chamuel, what other messages? Archangel Uriel. All right, so you've got love and wisdom. Okay, so now you've got love twice and wisdom and seek within. So this kind of sounds like it's talking about something deep in your heart. Now, for the final one, you get courage. So you've got love, seek within, courage, Archangel Chamuel, and Archangel Uriel. Now, let's take a look at what tarot kind of corresponds with the angel messages because they're definitely telling you they're pouring out their love for you. They're telling you to look inside yourself and see your own wisdom and see your own courage. Now, angels... Please show us through the tarot what corresponds to these angel messages. So Archangel Chamuel, 
starting with you, what from the tarot would you like to talk about? All right, so she's talking about boredom and looking at what you could have versus what you do have. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Uriel, what would you like to talk about? The Palace of Coins, all right, so how to be financially stable, the wisdom behind that. Now for love, what comes out for love? The Queen of Coins, okay, that could represent you in a real loving, generous scenario. Now for Seek Within, for Seek Within, what do we have for Seek Within? All right, the Knight of Cups, that looks like a romantic proposal. Now, finally, you get the Seven of Wands for Courage. All right, so this is kind of all over the board with both of the Archangels coming out. Some of you are in situations where love is a key factor. You've got love here, you've got love here, you've got a romantic proposal here. Some of you are in the zone love-wise and your angels are just kind of preparing you for it. They're telling you when you get this proposal, seek within your heart. They're telling you to give of yourself freely and to accept the love of the angels. They're telling you that you're gonna be balanced and you're gonna find you know, financial stability. And then Archangel Chamuel is telling you she's pouring out all this love for you. So try to avoid being bored. Replace boredom with gratitude. And then for courage, you've got where you're putting your courage, this Seven of Wands says you're gonna win. So wherever you put your courage, wherever you put your energy, you're going to have success. Some of you are taking the next step romantically. All of you are being asked for your generosity and the pouring out of your love on the people around you. And then you're being told, you're being brought into financial balance and being guided to gratitude over boredom. All right, now is there anything from the star seeds to add? Any little piece of star seed wisdom? From the star seeds for the star seeds. From the star seeds for the star seeds. All right. Magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. This Queen of Coins represents you in this reading, and you are magnificent just like she is. Even if you are not really financially abundant yet, you are coming into a place of abundance and you're going to share your generosity and love with others. You're here to love and, and be loved and you are plenty enough. So do not forget how wonderful and amazing and enough you are. All right, that is all I have for group number one today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by donations, private readings, likes, comments, subscriptions, whatever it is you're doing. I just want you to know I really appreciate you. So until next time, love, light, courage, and strength. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number two with the universal heart as the signifier. This is advice to really think about things on all the levels before you make your decisions. You know, are they good for you? Are they good for those around you? You know, on a universal level, kind of speak to your heart and see what's going on. Now, let's see what other angel messages there are for group two. So angels, please talk to us through the cards. Show us the messages for group two. All right, so you get happiness. That's beautiful. Trust the flow. Gratitude. And cooperate. All right, now let's see what tarot goes with this, shall we? For your universal heart, angels, please clarify for us. Show us why the universal heart is here. What message you're trying to send with the universal heart. All right. 
page of swords. So that's pay attention to the details. So you're being told to pay attention to how your actions affect others with the universal heart and just, you know, make sure you're, you're watching the details as you go through things because it's important for you. Now for happiness, angels, why is happiness here? How are you bringing happiness into the lives of group two? Ooh, some of you are becoming mothers. Others of you are getting, you know, foundational needs taken care of. You know, things are, you're experiencing growth with the Empress here. But, uh, but some of you are being blessed with children. You know, those of you that are, that are desiring that. Now, trust the flow. That you get the wheel. So lots of luck coming in with trust the flow. So, you know, the wheel is all about luck and fate. So know that your good luck is coming in. Now, gratitude. Why are you reminding gratitude, angels? Ooh, there is a new beginning that you are passionate, passionate about. This can also symbolize fertility for those of you that are really trying in the baby field. You've got uh, male fertility in the Ace of Wands but you're being told to be grateful for this new beginning that you're passionate about and that doesn't have to be a baby like this doesn't have to be a baby if you just you know, just because you pick pile two but someone here is really trying and i want you to just know that it's coming through really clear you're going to succeed so just have faith and and make sure you're grateful now Knight of Swords with Cooperate. All right, people are watching you with the Knight of Swords. People are paying attention to you. So just bring your cooperation to the table. Show people how to behave and how to really set a good example with this Knight of Swords being there. You know, set a good example and cooperate with everyone around you. Be grateful for this new beginning. This could be Anything that you're really passionate about, something you're very passionate about is going to start. And just remember to be grateful for it. Luck is on your side, so trust that luck is bringing you good things, even when you kind of stumble sometimes. Happiness has got this st stability and motherhood coming to it. And then for the universal heart, just pay attention to the decisions that you make because they affect other people. Now, from the star seeds, for the star seeds, please. From the star seeds, oop, you get Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. All right, that is beautiful. So as long as there's love in the situation, you are on your path. So remember to be grateful. Remember to cooperate and work with the angels. Enjoy this happiness, however they're bringing it to you, whether it is through the desired motherhood or if it is through just stable foundations, you know, having plenty of bountiful harvest, essentially, you're going to have happiness come in in a plentiful way. And you've got all kinds of luck on your side. So just remember love in everything because that's why we're here. All right. That's all I have for group number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by donation private reading, like, subscription, comment, whatever you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number three with generosity as the signifier. The angels are pouring out their generosity on this group. Let's see how. All right, so angels, please show us how you're pouring out your generosity for group three. Ooh, you get Archangel Michael on the bottom of the deck. So let's just see, you know, lots of protection, just, you know, protection energy all around you. Now, angels, please show us for group number three how you're pouring out your generosity. All right, they're telling you to seek enlightenment. This is trust your gut, trust your heart, trust your connection to spirit. You're being delivered messages. Now, gratitude, all right, yes. They are pouring out their generosity on you. You're gonna see it in your life. We'll pull some tarot and see how in just a second, but you're being asked for gratitude. So make sure you're grateful, grateful for the things in your life that you appreciate. 
You're also getting check your emotions. So make sure you're emotionally stable. You know, this doesn't mean hide your emotions. This doesn't mean suppress your emotions. This means check in with your emotions and make sure you're okay. And finally, you get trust the flow. All right. Now let's see what tarot relates to this. So angels, please clarify with the tarot what your messages mean. For group number three, please show us why your generosity is here. Ooh, temperance, balance. All right, so this is almost like generosity that's coming to you on a karmic level because of things that you've done before. It's balancing, so you've got good things coming in um, because they need to to balance things out for you. So some of you may have been through some stuff and you're really coming out of a testing phase now. Now for the Seek Enlightenment card. All right, Seek Enlightenment. So you get death. Something is ending for the start of something new. So, so with this Seek Enlightenment, as whatever ends, let it go so that the newness can come in and you'll be grateful for the newness. Now, what's new to be grateful for? All right, so there will be challenges and tests. You need to be grateful for those challenges and tests because they're lessons. But they, you have the strategy to conquer anything in front of you, and you need to be grateful for that as well. Now, with this check your emotions here, angels, what is coming with this check your emotions? All right, so you get stable financial foundations. So if you can keep those emotions in check, maybe not do emotional spending if that's a problem for some of you that's going to keep you financially stable and everything looking good there. Now for trust the flow, you get the Knight of Cups. So that is a romantic proposal. So some of you are gonna be seeing a romantic proposal in your not too distant future if you just trust the flow and let it come to you. You're gonna have to let something end to get there. For everyone here, something is ending with the death card. Something ends, it gives rebirth to something new. Now, there are challenges and tests in the King of Swords because there's challenges and tests for everyone in anything. And this is saying that you have the strategy to get through it. You're good. So be great. Sorry about that. That was my weather alarm because there's a storm here, but everything is okay, so no worries. Now, back to what I was saying. There's challenges and tests for everyone, but you're going to have stable foundations if you can just keep your emotions balanced. Like balance is the, the message of the day. And trust the flow. This romance, the, those of you who are looking for a proposal, a romantic step in the right direction soon, it's coming. So know that, that it's coming to you. You just got to be patient. Now from the star seeds, let's see what the star seeds have. From the star seeds for the star seeds, please. Oh. Okay, well, we got three. Let's see what they are. You get patience. It says, be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. That's what I was talking about with this proposal. The ones that are just itching to, to get to the next step. Patience, patience. It's coming in. Now, release. We'll put that with death. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. Something is ending for the start of something new. Just let that go. And then intuition. Trust your intuition. It's been guiding you to the answers that you seek. So for this king of swords right here with the need for strategy, your intuition is going to guide you through your challenges and tests. So just remember to be grateful to the angels for their help and guidance around you. All right. That is all I have for group number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscription, comment, private reading, donation, whatever you're doing. I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number four with Archangel Gabriel. All right, so Archangel Gabriel's coming into this reading to deliver specific messages for specific people. So let's just see what she has to bring. Archangel Gabriel, please guide the cards and deliver your messages. All right. Archangel Gabriel, what do you have to say to group number four? 
All right, you're being told hope. So the angels are pouring out hope for you. You get the universal heart. So you're being told to think things through, really think of them on all the levels, what's good for you mentally, physically, spiritually, what's good for those around you. When you make your decisions, you get be accommodating. So you're gonna have the chance to really be accommodating either with yourself or with others. And finally, you get courage. All right. Now, let's take a look at your tarot and see what directly relates to these messages. So, starting with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel, what would you like to add with the tarot for group number four? What would you like to add with the tarot for group number four? All right. All right, so we get the Five of Cups. So some of you are looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have. And you're being reminded to remember what you still have. Yes, the losses that you've taken are unfortunate, but remember that you still have good things to, to look forward to and have hope. Now, this hope, how is this hope going to manifest itself? What do, what do you wanna to add to the hope card from the tarot? All right, so you get the Knight of Swords. So people are gonna pay attention to you. Um, people are going to keep an eye on things for you. Now, the lovers with the universal heart. So those of you in a soulmate relationship, really speak from your heart. Those of you that are meeting your soulmate, have courage, speak from your heart. The soulmate is here to, the lovers are here to tell you that you have this soulmate connection in your periphery. Now, for be accommodating, you get the three of cups. So the more accommodating you are with the people around you, the more you're gonna have to celebrate. It's gonna bring in celebrations. So just be nice for just the purpose of being nice and it's gonna bring in good things. And finally, for courage, you get the palace of wands. You're being told to have the courage to live in a place where you let your creative passions run wild. So be your true authentic self, let your passions free, be kind and accommodating to everyone around you and that's gonna bring you things to celebrate. Listen to the universal heart in your love relationships, in your soulmate relationship. And if you haven't met your soulmate yet, listen to your heart when you meet someone new. L listen and see if that's what it's telling you. Now, with hope, just know that there are there are people watching and keeping an eye, but just keep your hope in your heart. And Archangel Gabriel wants you to know to, to really let go of what's gone and embrace what you have and try your hardest to show gratitude for what, for what there is. Now, let's take a look at the Starseed deck. So, ooh, love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. All right, so some of you are having trouble accepting this love from your soulmate. This, you, you accept this love, live your truth. Love is there for you and, and also freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. So you have freedom in this wonderful palace of uh, wands to really live your creativity, to live your passion. Just bring your courage to the table and let it, let it really guide you. All right. That is what I have for group number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscription, comment, private reading, donation, whatever you're doing, I really appreciate you and I want you to know it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected group number five with the let go card as the signifier. This is kind of advising you to let go of what you want, let go of your manifestations and wait for them to come back to you. Now, let's take a look at what other angel messages there is for group number five. 
So angels, please speak to us through the cards for group number five. What else do you want to say? All right. So you're being asked for faith. So you may be going through something that requires you to have a little faith. You're being asked to seek enlightenment. You're being asked to be discerning. And you get Archangel Raguel coming out for you. All right, Archangel Raguel is about fairness and justice. So some of you may be going through something that just doesn't seem quite fair right now. And Archangel Raguel is coming out to say he's working on it. He is working to shore things up to make things more equitable for you so that, so that things are more fair and so that judgments, you know, whatever judgments there are, kind of tend towards you now faith is faith in your angels faith in your higher power seek enlightenment is trust yourself trust your gut trust your angel connection be discerning same thing as seek enlightenment really it's trust that gut it's really you know this is ask your gut and this is trust your gut okay so seek enlightenment is ask hey how do i feel about this and be discerning is listen when your intuition talks to you. Now, let's see what tarot has to add to the angel messages. So angels, what would you like to add for this let go here? What needs to be let go of? All right, you got two cards. You got the five of wands and the queen of wands, okay. So it's like you guys are trying so hard to step into your authentic self and it's going to be a natural step for you. So just let go and know that you're stepping into your authentic self by letting go. You don't have to fight for who you are. You are who you are. Just let yourself be. Now for faith, why is the faith card here, angels? Why is the faith card here? All right, the hermit. So you're spending lots of time alone, a lot of you. Uh, lots of time thinking. You're being asked to have faith that you know you have good times in front of you and good things are headed your way. Now, seek enlightenment. You get the four of cups, which can signify boredom or looking to something that you're dreaming of versus what you actually have. So seek enlightenment, not to say you shouldn't chase your dreams, but don't let yourself be bored with what you have. Enjoy what you have and really be grateful for it. Now for be discerning, we get the eight of coins. So that's your hard work. So just be discerning about where you put your hard work. Don't work your tail off for something that's not benefiting you. Really pay attention to where you're putting your energy. And finally for Archangel Raguel, the queen of coins. All right. So you're going to come into an abundance, whether it is financial, whether it is soulish, there's going to be an abundance that you come into, um, that Archangel Raguel is helping with. This is, uh, you having enough. This is you sharing generously of yourself with the queen of coins. Now let's see what the star seeds have to add to this reading. So from the star seeds, for the star seeds, from the star seeds, for the star seeds, please. All right, let's see here. You get fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Okay, so I'm gonna put that with this queen of wands and you stepping into your authentic self, which you're trying so hard to do right now. Now, what else? Signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. All right, so I'm gonna put that with your faith. Have faith that the universe is guiding you, even in your alone times. Use that alone time to meditate a little bit and see what your guides and the universe is telling you. And finally, you get inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So I'm gonna put that over here on this queen of coins. Sorry about that. I had a tiny hiccup with the camera, but inner alchemy is the final card for group number five. Just remember to react to any fear you have with love. All right, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. 
Thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel in any way, whether it's by like, subscription, comment, donation, private reading, whatever it is. I want you to know I really appreciate you. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.